When it comes to buying a thin and light laptop for photo editing, graphic design, and video editing, it is hard to find one with the performance and usability needed at a reasonable price. I have been waiting to get my hands on the MSI Modern 15 since CES this past year to see if it will stand up to the needs of creators regarding 1080p, video editing, graphic design, and photography. Let's get rocking! <laughs> If you're new to the channel, my name is Benji Kaiser. This is where you're going to find the best tech and tools for creative professionals. If you're curious about the exact pricing of the MSI Modern 15, you can head down in the description below and click that link. Now, if you do make a purchase through that link, I will get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. And that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. Diving right into the build quality of this laptop, as I pull the MSI Modern 15 out of the box, I'm greeted by an all aluminum top cover, keyboard deck, side panels, and plastic bottom cover, making this laptop not only durable, but also thin and light. Weighing in at just 3.52 pounds, at barely over half an inch thick at 0.62 inches, I'm quite impressed by the portability of this laptop. But how does a laptop this thin and light perform? Well, in just a few minutes, we are going to jump into the performance section of this video to discuss all of those details, so hang tight. First, let's get into the on-the-go capabilities of this laptop. The Modern 15 has a 52 watt hour battery that can accomplish eight to nine hours of web browsing battery life and about five to six hours of design and video editing. The MSI Modern 15 comes with an ample selection of ports. Now, what I always say about the ports is check them out, review what the laptop comes with, and then think about your daily workflow. What ports will you need? And so that is how I usually recommend people making the best decision. It's not always about the latest and greatest, it's about your use case. The MSI Modern 15 has good ventilation, and we will discuss how this affects the cooling performance once we get into the benchmarks coming up later in this video. But as a short note, it does a great job even in creator mode. As I pull open the lid of this laptop, which does require two hands due to how thin and light it is, the hinges are strong and secure, offering a smooth open and close of the lid. The MSI Modern 15 has two hinges that offer very little screen flex at the middle of the screen. I really like the hinge screen setup on this laptop. This laptop does come with a 720p webcam, so you won't miss out on those crucial virtual meetings if the need arises. The MSI Modern 15 comes with a 16 by 9 Full HD matte display that can reach 272 nits at full brightness. I would like to note that if you are trying to work on a project in the outdoor seating area of a coffee shop in noon daylight, it may appear on the dimmer side with that contrast situation. So this laptop doesn't have the brightest screen and not necessarily my top pick on screen brightness for outdoor working, but it is a good screen. Concerning the screen capabilities of this laptop, that is one way MSI was able to save you some money on the i5 version, which is the version I am reviewing. The screen can only reach 64% sRGB, 48% Adobe RGB, and 47% DCI P3. Now, although this laptop is not color accurate, it is a very solid price to performance machine, and you will see that as we get into the benchmarks in just a few moments. If you want to turn this laptop into a color accurate workstation, I would recommend picking up a color accurate external monitor. This will not only boost your productivity with a second screen, but can get you the color accuracy you need for your designs, edits, and photos. Acer has a budget-friendly 100% sRGB and 96% Adobe RGB screen, the Concept DCM2. Or you can check out the 100% sRGB color accurate Asus ProArt 24-inch display. I will link both of these in the description below alongside of the Modern 15 link. Now, one thing I want to note about the MSI 15 is the various models and spec choices you can select to receive different performance and screen quality. If you're looking for a 100% sRGB color accurate display, you can pick up the i7 version of the Modern 15, which I will link in the description below. This will give you a brighter and more color accurate screen, plus more performance with the i7 processor. Now, I will put in here why these companies do different screens on different models, and it adds a lot of confusion, but nonetheless, it's a confusion we have to work through, and I've provided the proper links below so you make the right purchasing decision. Moving down to the keyboard deck, I'm really appreciating the spacious key placement. The key press is smooth and quiet with a medium level of key travel. I like how I can tell when I get a good key press on the key, but it does not require a great amount of press to activate the key. I must say, however, that I am not stoked about the two-thirds size shift key 
on the right side of the keyboard. I personally dig a full size shift key. For some reason, a lot of thin and light laptops shrink their shift key and it is always a burr in my saddle regarding personal preference. Also, it is important to note that the keyboard is bright and visible while in a dark room. There is a clear, even lighting across the keycaps. So again, there is a good design aesthetic and great move on that one, MSI. Moving on to the trackpad, MSI has equipped it with the Windows touch gestures, which work nicely, have a strong click, and excellent touch sensitivity. To me, the trackpad is a very crucial component of a design laptop, and this one is up to the challenge. I will note that the trackpad is a little clicky and slightly shaky for my personal taste. I prefer a quieter trackpad click, but it does not disturb the function. It is simply a preference of mine regarding how it sounds when clicked. Here is an audio sample for you to hear the trackpad and keyboard while in use. If you're enjoying this video and getting some value, gently press down on that like button and let me know how you plan on using this laptop by dropping a comment below. If you want more content like this in the future, then make sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of the future uploads. Okay, let's get back into the video. All right, now that we have covered the build and usability of this laptop, let's talk about the performance. The model I'm reviewing comes with the Intel 10th Gen Core i5-10210U with four cores and eight threads has the Intel Ultra HD integrated graphics, and it has one stick of eight gigs of DDR4 RAM. And it also has 512 gigs of NVMe SSD. Now I want to say I ran these tests in creator mode, not bounced or battery saving mode. It was my goal to get you the best performance possible out of this laptop. So starting off with both Geekbench 5's single core and multi-core performance with creator mode turned on in the MSI creator center, the Modern 15 was able to pull off a solid single core benchmark. But when tested on the multi-core performance, it was not as powerful as I had hoped. It scored near the bottom of my chart. So if you're interested in multitasking performance at near the same price point, I would check out the head-to-head -head review I've put together between the MSI Modern 15 and the Acer Swift 3. And you can check out that review in the YouTube cards above once it's available. Getting into the design and photo editing benchmarks, I'm going to be using the Photoshop benchmark test from Puget Systems. As you can see, it handles the individual tasks well. I use the Photoshop benchmark to see how well a laptop can handle the most intense tool in Adobe's design suite. If a laptop can perform well in Photoshop, it can handle InDesign and Illustrator with ease. As you can see, this laptop sits at the bottom of my laptop test results, but don't let that scare you away. Remember, this is a thin and light and power conserving laptop that will give you the performance and longevity during your creative tasks. So although it is sitting below some of the monster gaming laptops, it is no slouch in creator apps such as the Adobe Design Suite, Affinity Photo, Sketch, and more. Let me show you what I mean. Concerning multitasking, this laptop is able to run Photoshop, InDesign, and Illustrator simultaneously. The CPU usage hovered at around 6%. The RAM was at about 70% and it used 0% of the integrated graphics. Now, as I started to conduct some work inside of InDesign, you can see that it will rise up to around 20%, but as soon as I step out of the program, it settles back down. So regarding multitasking, it can handle that quite well. Okay, now let's take things a step further and see if we can push this laptop to run some video edits. Unfortunately, I was unable to do smooth 4K editing with this laptop. During the 4K playback and scrubbing, it dropped 15,074 out of the 16,177 frames, making the edit nearly impossible. So I'm deeming this laptop a 1080p video editing laptop. For the playback and scrubbing tests in Premiere Pro, I'm going to take a 9 minute 1080p project with 16,177 frames, with 7,240 of those frames being motion design, and I will play it back at full half and fourth quality. At full quality, we saw 4,888 frames dropped out of the 16,177. At half quality, we saw 29 frames dropped, and at fourth quality, only 15 frames dropped. 
The playback at full quality was usable, and at half quality or fourth quality, I didn't even notice the drop frames. Now, I will note that I was only running Premiere Pro during that test. So if you have more tasks open while editing, you may get more drop frames. But you can either close out your other tasks or go down to fourth quality to keep the smoothness of your edit. Now, to render out the 7,240 motion design frames in that project took 9 minutes and 57 seconds. Now, let's test out the export times. I'm going to take a 9 minute 1080p clip, place it into Premiere Pro and DaVinci Resolve and export it out at 1080p YouTube settings. Now, do note that for DaVinci Resolve, I am using the free version of DaVinci Resolve so you can understand how these tests pan out. For Premiere Pro, 1080p to 1080p export, it took 4 minutes and 23 seconds. For the DaVinci Resolve 1080p to 1080p export, it took 10 minutes and 34 seconds. Do note that for these tests, all of the previous laptops you see on this chart were exporting a 4K to 1080p. So the Modern 15 has a slight advantage here, but I did not want to leave out the comparisons as to remove all context from what this laptop is capable of. Now, what about noise, thermals, and component usage while using this laptop? The MSI Modern 15 at idle had no fan. Now while web browsing, I heard it get up to around 51 decibels on occasion. During the Photoshop benchmarks, it was at 43 to 59 decibels, depending on the test it was conducting. For Premiere Pro 1080p to 1080p export, I saw 42 decibels with a slight coil whine. Now I hadn't really heard this on other laptops before, um, so this was really one of my first experiences with that, and it was definitely noticeable here on this laptop. And for DaVinci Resolve 1080p to 1080p export, we saw about 55 decibels with again that slight coil whine. And regarding the thermals, I was quite pleased on how cool this laptop remained during the variety of benchmarks I conducted. Here are those test results. And regarding the component usage for the test conducted, here are those as well. If you're looking for a thin and light laptop that runs the Adobe Design Suite without a hitch, can conduct 1080p video edits in Premiere Pro and DaVinci Resolve, comes with MSI's Creator Center, which allows you to tune your laptop for higher performance needs or save on battery when you're out of the office. Oh, and it also comes in a thin and light aluminum package. Then the MSI Modern 15 would be a great choice for you. If you're curious about the exact pricing or any of those color accurate screens I was discussing while going through this video, you can head down in the description below and click one of those links. Now, if you do make a purchase through that link, I will get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. And that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. If you want to learn more about the MSI Modern 15 or you're curious about other laptop reviews on my channel, you can click or tap the screen over here. Otherwise, keep editing, keep designing, keep creating. I'm Benji Kaiser, and I will see you here in the next video.